hey everyone today i'm doing a little bit of a different video and as y'all can see i'm gonna make soil for my maples and my conifers it's what i use i use the same soil for both type of trees and i'm running out i just repotted this beautiful orangeola that you see right here check this out boom anyways i got about half a bag left i did cut that branch cut that branch it was hanging way too low uh so yeah let's go back to the what we're doing here so yes i'm going to make some soil and the three ingredients that i use there's about ten thousand ways to make soil for trees all right and they're not wrong all right everybody got their own ingredients and all that stuff so please don't criticize me this is my way of doing it i as y'all can see okay i am doing pretty well with the soil i make so okay got it so what i'm gonna go ahead and put you here Rupert. these right here i'm using ingredients are from readily available ingredients that you could find at like lowe's or Home Depot, right? I did found these. Actually, I found all of these ingredients at Lowe's. And what I use, what I like using is fine pine bark mulch, right? Uh, you're probably gonna find a lot of pine bark mini nuggets, and that's what I used to find. But then again, there's an extra step, a very <laughs> hectic one, of having to mulch that. What I use is an electric wood chipper, which I'm about to show you right now. Got it right here, boom. Don't mind the mess, please. That right there. So I mulch the mini nuggets. I collect them in that box and then put them right there and then mix it together. With the fine pine bark mulch, I don't have to do that because it's pretty, it's mulch, right? So let me go ahead and see what I can do right here. I'm about to show you guys. Boom. Right there, boom. Check this out. Uh, check this out, guys, look. That's beautiful stuff right there. This is exactly what you want. You don't need to mulch it down. It's already done for you. Put you right here real quick. All right. Look at that, this is simple. By getting the mulch and not the mini nugget, I just save about a good 20 minutes of mulching this one bag is done all right it's done now the next step that i like to use is peat moss i add some peat moss to the mix and this is why i add it i add it because peat moss holds moisture now i'm in zone 8b or sorry about that i'm in zone 8 alpha or 8a and as y'all can see i have rocks and concrete here it gets so hot in here okay and it's it's spring it's not even summer look my johan already suffering from some burn because this tree, well, this tree was grown in uh, in the shade. So I'm trying to get it used to the sun because it's about to get a lot of sun. So anyways, the point is that it gets really hot and the water evaporates out of the pots real quick. So I like to add, <coughs> sorry about that. I like to add a little bit more of the peat moss so it holds a little bit more water. <coughs> sorry guys. So with that being said, usually what you wanna do is like a 75 to 
mulch, 15 to 20 percent uh, peat moss at about five to ten percent of the perlite all right what i'm doing is i'm upping the number on the peat moss to hold a little just a tiny little bit more water give me time to water again now not a whole lot either okay guys because what you don't want is any root rotting on your pot okay so this stuff will hold a lot of water, so you need to be careful with adding too much of the peat moss. I think that's that's good enough. It'll mix it really well. You don't have to be too thorough right now because still we need we need to add the perlite. Oh, it's starting to look really good. It's good soil right here. And I am, as you guys can know, can see that I am a pretty heavy handed on the perlite. And the reason is that I'm adding a lot, a little bit more than usual uh, peat moss. So perlite, let me cover it. Perlite not only holds water, but it also holds a lot of oxygen. And with, I need that using a little bit of a heavy peat moss material okay And that is it guys that is the my soil mix this is what i use and it is what has been working for me so far i had no problems with any of my trees and now to the next step is putting it in bags and then i store it behind that shed where i have wait right there right there where i have all pretty much all my pots Boom. Okay guys, and what I would just do is just 
put it around here, all this area. I usually just use it. There's a little one there that got a little bit of soil on it. So, but definitely I will not put it there because I'm about to use it. I got a few, quite a few large pots that needs to be filled. And I think that one of these would take about one full bag of that. And two of these would take one full bag. It's already measured. So guys, this is it. I still got a whole lot of to work and a whole lot of soil to mix. I got about 14 more bags of these. One of these three cubic feet stack of uh, compost or not compost, uh, peat moss will last you a really, really long time. You're not using a whole lot. As you can see, one whole bag of this just barely barely any of the peat moss so guys this is it let me go ahead and uh take my gloves off okay uh one more thing uh when you guys are dealing with perlite please use a mask or use it downwind you don't want this stuff going into your respiratory system or your lungs or uh, your nose you don't want this stuff nearby you will feel it immediately your nose is going to start uh just uh, throwing a whole lot of mucus and I don't even know if it's like bad for you, but I can sh assure you it's not good and just use some mask and you'll be fine, okay? All right, guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave you guys. I got a whole lot of sh work to do, bye.